I'm Jim Kircher, and taking a cue from William McKinley, of all people, and his 1896 run for the presidency. It was called a front porch campaign, because while his opponent, William Jennings Bryan, was crisscrossing the country campaigning, McKinley stayed at home in Ohio on his front porch. He invited people to come over, people stopped by, he gave speeches, he got plenty of press coverage, and he won the election. I'm not trying to win anything by staying home. I'm just trying not to catch the coronavirus, or if I have it, not spread it. So front porch it is. And that brings us to our first story by Ruthie Zell about what some people have decided to do while staying at home. Two in the morning, too hot to sleep. The popular St. Louis band Fanfare has been performing around town and around the country more than four decades. But a stay-at-home order in wake of COVID-19 suddenly restricted its venues to a front porch. This is where lead vocalist Kitty Mahler and band leader and keyboardist Vincent Golomsky live. They met when Mahler auditioned for Fanfare in its early days. She joined the band in 1976, and a few years later, Mahler and Golomsky married. Like many professional musicians, they experienced peaks and valleys in their concert schedule. It was only happenstance the spread of the coronavirus to the St. Louis area did not affect them right away. Kitty had uh, lost her voice in February, so uh, like we said, it was sort of a blessing that uh, we had some time off because she got her voice back. We were practicing our tunes, so I wouldn't forget the, uh, the chords and the melodies, and she was singing, so she'd build up her voice strength again. And remember the words. And, uh, yeah, remember <laughs> all the words. And I said, man, we should just put a speaker outside the door and, and let everybody hear it. And then Kitty said? Oh, I said, well, instead of putting a speaker out there, why don't we go out on the front porch and do a performance? So Vincent emailed some neighbors to let them know we were gonna do that on a Sunday afternoon. And it was great. The neighbors came out and they stayed on their front porches or sat in the middle of their front yards. And we played for an hour. It was, it was really nice because we've been stuck inside for so long that it was great to get to actually play for people. We had so many requests to do it again that then the day before Easter we did, we, we got the whole band. We had the other two guys come over and all four of us we're out, strung out down our sidewalk and on our front porch. And speaking of the other two guys, that's Lanny Bowles on drums and Dave Black on guitar. Like you love to get me high. The pianist at this keyboard is University City's own Peter Martin. This tune pays tribute to jazz legends who lost their struggle with the coronavirus. One of Martin's responses to sheltering in place is a series of live Friday evening concerts from his home streamed to fans around the world. We have a real obligation and I kind of take it as a big part of my job when you get into crisis situation to be here and to provide art and, and a reflection and something edifying for the, for the listeners, something for people to have some hope and some entertainment and some solace in. And so, you know, in our own way, I think musicians and artists are, are really doing a wonderful job of stepping up and still providing that as best that I can, you know, as best we can, given the circumstances. And we're all trying to figure this out. I mean, just like journalists and, and um, you know, are just like a beacon for keeping people informed and connected. I see music very much the same way. Martin's concerts could be considered an expansion of his work as co-founder of Open Studio. It connects aspiring jazz musicians to top flight professionals through subscription video courses that have earned critical acclaim. Martin quickly realized how Open Studio could expand on its mission and help more musicians in these challenging times. When I created the mission, I didn't create, we're going to try to make as much money off this as possible. I probably should have, but I said, we're going to try to help as many people with our courses as we could. So 
we went to a, a choose what you pay model because all these people wanted to sign up, but they couldn't, they couldn't afford it. So we said, you know what? We have the courses, you've got the time at home, so just pay whatever you can. Meanwhile, Vincent Golomsky and Kitty Mahler are busy with home and garden projects, working on new tunes, and looking forward to performing in front of fans without quite this level of social distancing. We miss all of them, and we're just looking forward to actually being able to get back out there and play some music and see everybody again. It's going to be a very emotional moment for, for all of us musicians and, and dancers and just performers, you know, entertainers. And, and I think for the audience as well, you know, everybody can listen to recordings and watch stuff online, but there's nothing like being there in person. Mm -hmm.